Hi friends and family. Hope you're okay. I'm okay. And yet, yet another time, I'm coming to you. This time, I'm coming to you from the gym. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for keeping in touch. Those who are new, consider subscribing. I appreciate. Thank you so much. Now, why am I coming to you from the gym? Oh, it's because this channel is all about life and lifestyle. So we talk, we do, we cook. And today, I decided to do exercise. I'm not walking on this machine to reduce the calories. But as I walk here, as I trend here, I'm thinking about life. And that's what I want to share with you. What is in my mind? One, life is a journey. So we are going. Go, 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 journey. But there's one thing I want to do to you. This machine has a gauge. You put the speed you want to walk with. Right now, I'm walking with this. If I want to reduce, I can reduce. You can see, I've reduced. I'm now walking slowly. You know? Just like that. Relax. It's a choice. If I want to increase, I just increase. And as I increase, I become faster, 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 faster to extend of running. See? Why am I showing you this? I'm showing you this because I want to talk about our normal life journeys our life journeys is a walk a walk in nature some of us may be faster some of us may be slow some of us may be running but guess what if you can't run just walk as I'm walking if you can't walk as I'm walking, just go slowly, just slowly. But you know what? We will get there. We will get there. Because the one who is running, the one who is walking fast, and the one who is walking slowly, even the one who is crawling, they are all burning calories. So, we are all moving on in life. We are all doing something in life. You don't have to be me, and I don't have to be you. I don't have to do what you do. And you don't have to do what I do. You have your particular purpose in this life. You have what your heart feels that this is what gives me contentment if I happen to do it. You have that vision, that which is very individualized. It belongs to you alone. And only you has the picture of that vision. Only you, in your own mind, and own heart and your own self knows what is that which you desire so much which you have passion for and only you can bring it to fulfillment can enable it out being helped by God let me take an example of school 
we went to school and when I was in school we used to study many subjects and one subject we did was art and craft I didn't like it but we did some of these ones were compulsory and if you can remember when we were in preschool, that time they used to call them nursery. We used to be given mind ourselves. We were in the local villages, so there was no, there was no predo. So we used to use soil and water, and you mix it together, and you could be told to make something. Maybe your mom and dad. At nursery school it, it was more of father and mother and your sister. And we could make those, that man make it like sticks and then the hand make it like ball and pu uh, put it together and make it stand. And that was the picture of man and of course the woman they had no difference to us. But what we were bringing out, what what at that age was in your mind that that is the picture of your father, that is the model of your mother, and then you could make a very small one that is the model of your sister or of your brother. That's how like this. God has given new play-doh or plaster thing or man mixed with water mixed with salt in your head. It is for you to bring out that which is in your head about life. That which you think is, is the model of what you want in life. You can model it. You can model. If it is a family, the family you have in mind there, the one you feel is ideal family, it's only in your mind. You can bring it out because God has put it in your mind, that ideal family, according to you and according to the will of God. If it is the career you want, God has put in your mind the ideal career for you, the passion you have for, you can bring it out. You can bring it out. If it is business, you have a plan. The blueprint is in your mind. You can bring it out. God has no time limit because he, he lives outside of time. God has lives outside of time. But you know what? It is a promise of God that times and seasons will never end. That is the planting season and the harvest season will never end. So you can plant any time. And you will harvest any time. Why? Because God lives outside time and gives us these seasons. For man, not for him. Some of you are younger than I am. It is not too young to start. It's not too early to start. When we were a little younger, we thought we would not get to this age we are now. We could see we have all the time in this world. And we missed chances. Yet people are telling us, by the way, that we missed chances. Why? We thought the time is all with us. Then by the by we see, yes, we are getting to where they were. But I want to let you know, even when you have reached where I am, it's not late. Don't start saying the skies are falling. They are not falling. They are still there. The clouds are still there. The sky is not falling. The clouds are not falling. Mm -mm. It rained yesterday. It's not raining now. It may rain tomorrow. Do not rain the day after tomorrow. So they, they don't just fall any time. So the clouds of your life are not falling. Rise up. 
Let's walk. Let's walk. Rise up. Let's walk. Rise up. Oh, let's walk. If we can run, run. If you can run, run. If you run out of breath because of running too much, slow down, but keep walking. Keep walking. Keep doing something. Keep doing something. Make sure what you've written down as your plan, as what you want to do in life, make sure every minute you take something, you've thought about it. Because if you stop dreaming, if you stop dreaming, you will forget what you didn't really want it to do. You will forget. And when you forget, you will not work towards it. I mean, if you don't work towards it, you won't achieve it. So, think about it every minute. Even if it seems to be quite far, quite far, at the horizon, you can bring it closer as you think about it. As you do, as you plan, first plan, every day plan. Those who want to be in business and they have no capital, if you're in employment, it's okay, save one dollar, save one shilling, save a hundred shillings here and there. Start small, grow. In fact, most people who have started big businesses without their own capital being given, it doesn't go far. Why? Because they've not labored. They've not labored. You need to labor. Labor for your capital, for your business. And then you build it. You build it. Those who went to business uh, studies, who, who did business studies in school, you know we were told that you can plow the capital back and increase your business. So, you can start small and then the profit you make, you expand your business with. If not a business, if you're thinking about the ministry, if you want to do ministry in the marketplace, you have the passion for bringing souls to Christ. Speak to those next to you about Christ. Start with your household. Do your children know Christ? Or they just follow you to church? They may not have, uh, have given their lives to Christ. They may just be following you and they don't know. They just follow you because dad and mom go. Let's go. Nobody is being left behind in the house. Start speaking to them. Don't condemn them. No, just bring them with love. Your employees, the house managers, can they speak of Christ? Yet you speak of Christ if you are a believer. And if they believe it is not about the kingdom of God. Other things, how do those who come close to you testify about you? Do you influence? Do you influence as you're being influenced as well? I've said like this, Ajahn, those who are running are influencing me. That's why I'm walking faster, you know, because I'm influenced by somebody who can run. Those who are crawling are influenced by those who are walking. That if they can walk and I'm at the crawling stage, one day I will walk. You see how kids grow. That when they are crawling stage, you put them where they can, when they reach a stage of standing, and then you put them where they can support themselves, they start walking as they support themselves. That is encouragement to them. That they are leaning on something they can't for. They, they, they gain the momentum and the courage to walk because they are holding on. You need to hold on your vision. Hold on your vision and let it be an anchor that you are not sinking. 
your boot will not sink because you know where you are handed to. Your boat will not sink because you know your purpose in life. Your boat will not go north when it's supposed to go south because you know it is headed for north. They will not lose focus. So guys, life is a journey. Let's walk it. Let's drive it. Let's trend on life. I want to leave you with that because I don't want to stay on this machine any more than those minutes. I go do something else. And I love you. Thank you so much. We'll keep in touch. Till next time. Bye bye. See you in the next one. Bye.